over the decades, there's been a tremendous amount of social science research into these questions. We're now at the beginning of a period in human history where we can say there is something called peace science. War is more likely in conditions of the least amount of economic development. Probably the most significant thing we can do to prevent armed conflict in the world is to raise the level of economic development, especially for young people, uh, because most wars are fought by young men especially. We have to create educational opportunities, economic systems that provide opportunity, that allow all communities to gain access to the assets and resources that they need to improve their own economic well-being. Uh, war is more likely in repressive societies where people do not have political opportunities to have some say over government. Building governance mechanisms that are inclusive, that provide opportunity for all significant communities within a particular region, those kinds of policies are critical to creating opportunities for peace. And if you look at societies around the world where there is armed conflict, it's often between ethnic groups, but that's often misunderstood to say, well, ethnic groups, when they exist together, are automatically going to have conflict. That's not what the findings say. What they show is that when these ethnic groups are excluded, when one group has opportunity that is denied to another, then there are grievances that arise from those inequalities, uh, from that exclusive and marginalization process that does lead to armed conflict. It's pretty obvious that we need governance mechanisms that are more inclusive, that are more participatory, that allow for all significant ethnic communities to have a role. Not just ethnic, but religious, uh, national, uh, and, and other different forms of social identity. Another finding has to do with the role of women in society. One of the fundamental characteristics of governance that can reduce the risk of war is to have full participation for women. There is a society where there's a greater possibility for uh, peace and the prevention of armed conflict. A lot of other characteristics, I'll just mention one more, and that has to do with international cooperation, with global governance, if you will. These when countries work together in international institutions, they are much less likely to wage war on one another. The record on balance shows that international peacekeeping, uh, usually through the UN, is very successful in helping to prevent the recurrence of armed conflict and helping to police peace agreements and bringing uh, armed conflicts to an end and preventing their recurrence. So peacekeeping works, global institutions work. The more we can build cooperation among states, the more we can create viable international institutions, the more likely we are to create the conditions for peace and be able to prevent war.